We found some amazing travel trailer floor plans under 25 feet. Stick around, you're going to want to check these out. Hi everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera and today we're taking a look at travel trailers that are under 25 feet long. We found some amazing floor plans. We're saving the best one for last. So stick around till the end of the video so that you can check it out. Hey, if you've seen us on YouTube before, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us on YouTube, welcome aboard. We make tons of videos all about RVing and we have our website, rvblogger.com, where we literally have hundreds of articles that we've written all about RVing as well. And if that's not enough, we also have our Facebook group, RV Camping for Newbies. We invite you to join the group, hang out with other RVers, and learn all about RVing. Today, we're going to focus in on travel trailers under 25 feet long. I think you're going to love some of these floor plans. So let's get started with our brief reviews right now. This travel trailer is the Jayco J Flight 174BH, which means that it's got a bunkhouse. It's a very nice, small, compact travel trailer. It weighs 3,075 pounds. <laughs> Couldn't have said that any worse. And it's 21 feet, 8 inches long. So it's super light, very, very easy to tow, perfect for a first time RVer who's looking to buy a new travel trailer. And, um, you know, it's just a great space that's very compact for a, for a family outing. Anyway, it, when you first walk in the front door, on the right-hand side here, you have a nice full queen-size bed, storage above, which is nice and deep, and then it's got a little storage pocket over on the side as well. But underneath of this queen-size bed, there is just a ton of to storage space. I mean, look at all that room under there. So the kitchen area in this trailer is really nice. It's got a ton of counter space, which you normally don't have this much in a travel trailer of any size for that matter. But you have a nice sink in here. It's a little bit on the small side in my opinion. Two burner stove, hood, microwave above, and then extra storage up here as well. Now the refrigerator in here is a compact refrigerator and it also comes with a little spot for ice trays in there as well and then of course you have additional storage underneath of your sink and cooktop off to the right here you have a nice big pantry cabinet above and more space down below also right across from the kitchen counter and all that stuff is your dinette area it's really meant for two people so you kind of have to eat in shifts in here if you have a family of four or five that you're traveling with, but it also converts into a bed so you can get one more person to sleep here. And then of course there's even more storage up top. Now right behind me here, there are two more bunk beds. And so you can get a kid in each one of these very, very easily as well. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm always standing in the shower. And as you can see height wise, Luckily, it's got this little little skylight over top. If you are, you know, over six feet, three inches tall, you're really going to have to scooch down in this particular shower. But it's about uh, three feet wide, and it comes with a full bathtub as well, so that's very nice. The only thing missing inside the bathroom is a vanity sink. In, in many travel trailers that are under 22 or 23 feet long, there is no sink in the bathroom. You just have to use the kitchen sink. So here we are inside the Keystone Bullet Crossfire. This travel trailer is really compact, but it's got a lot of really usable space inside of it. It weighs only 3,077 pounds and it's 21 feet 4 inches long. So it is a nice compact travel trailer. Now when you first walk in the front door, you'll notice just to your right hand side, you've got your queen size bed. And all around the bed, there's plenty of storage. You have a nice big deep wardrobe closet on this side and then you have these cabinets over top they go back you know a little more than a foot the only thing i don't like about these is you have to hold them open to reach in here and get things out not the worst thing in the world but that's just how it's made now one other neat thing is underneath the queen size bed there's this huge storage compartment under here which is great you can store things away in here that you don't really use that often 
but it's a big spot for storage. Just to my left here is an inline kitchen setup, and uh, I think it's really nice. They have a decent amount of countertop space, a very large sink that's in here, and then there's extra storage down below. Under the cooktop, there's storage. Under the sink, there's storage. And then you have your drawers down below that as well. Some of you might be wondering why the drawers are all the way down the bottom. Well, you can't put them underneath the sink or the cooktop. They just won't work there. Up above, you have additional storage as well, plus your microwave oven. Now, right across from the kitchen is where the dinette is. The dinette is set up for four people. And currently, the table's down. We wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like if you were someone was going to sleep here. You just pull these back cushions off, put them in the middle, and this can sleep one person pretty easily, or if you had two little kids, maybe two people. And then above, of course, you have all this storage area up here as well. Part of the inline kitchen includes the refrigerator at the very end of the kitchen lineup, and it's nice because it's got a separate refrigerator and freezer. The fridge is a little on the small side, but it's not too bad. It's probably about the same size as the one we have in our camper, actually. <laughs> right across from the refrigerator, there's a couple things. In the dinette area, this is where you would hang your TV if you were going to mount a TV in here. It would need to be pretty small. And then you have two bunk beds in here, and both of the bunks have an electrical outlet, HDMI, not HDMI, what's the word? USB port so you can the kids can charge their devices, charge their phones, charge their games, whatever they're into. All right, so here we are in the bathroom and as usual, I'm standing in the shower area. Now, if you are taller than me, you would have a tough time in this shower. I'm 5'11". There is maybe an inch over my head before you hit the ceiling. And even if you're standing in the little skylight area, I only have three inches over my head. So you know, taller guys, you're gonna to have to crouch down in here. But the shower's about three feet wide, and one nice feature is if you have little kids and you need a bathtub, this travel trailer actually has a bathtub. There's no seat taking up space, so the tub is the full three feet wide as well. Also in here, you'll notice, you know, a decent sized medicine cabinet. Down below that, a decent sized vanity, and then of course, plenty of storage underneath. This travel trailer is the Forest River Wildwood FSX 179 DBK model. It weighs in at just 3,200 pounds and it's 22 feet 6 inches long. Now when you first walk in the door, you'll notice on the right hand side here that you have a nice comfy couch. And above the couch, there's also some storage space. But the really nice feature about this is this couch also doubles as a Murphy bed, which is fantastic. So during the daytime, you can use it as a couch, lounging area. At night, you can pull the Murphy bed down and go to sleep. So let me show you how to convert it into the Murphy bed. It's really quite simple. All you do, unlatch one latch, lay your cushion flat, let this drop right down, and then just grab your mattress, pull it down, and then <laughs> your covers are on here. Now, this one didn't go quite as easily because it's brand new. The mattress is still wrapped in all the plastic. If it wasn't wrapped, it would have just pulled right down. A lot of these covers come with a little strap for the corner, and that holds everything in place so that you're not having to fool around with all your covers falling off the mattress when you put the Murphy bed up into its sofa position. So you'll notice in here you have a really nice inline kitchen set up. On the right hand side here we have a two burner stove and this is really neat the way they did this. It just goes straight back instead of sideways. And the reason I like that setup is because it just gives you a little bit more countertop space that you can use. And then of course you have a very nice single bowl deep sink. Above that we have our microwave storage cabinet. And then down below you have some drawer space and additional storage space as well. Off to the right side here, we have a good size refrigerator with a separate freezer. Right across from the kitchen, you have your dinette set up, lots of really good storage above, very good size window over the dinette, and then seating for four people here. And by the way, the dinette also converts into a bed. Towards the front of this trailer, we have a double bunk set up, and each bunk has its own window, which is a nice feature. 
And then underneath, there's plenty of storage down there as well. Here I am inside the bathroom and I'm standing inside the shower and I'm about 5'11". Inside of the skylight and fan area, there's maybe six feet, three inches of height in here. So you taller guys are gonna have a tough time in this shower, but it's not terrible. Uh, the rest of the bathroom features a nice size deep medicine cabinet and then a corner vanity with storage underneath of that. This travel trailer is the R-Pod 196 model. It weighs 3,600 pounds and it's 22 feet 2 inches long. And when you first walk in the door, you kind of walk into the kitchen area. On the right hand side, you can't quite see them, but there's some coat hooks here. So you can hang up your coat when you first walk in. You also have a refrigerator with a separate freezer. And then it's a really nice inline kitchen setup. Very deep, big round sink. Lots and lots of countertop space two burner stove, microwave down below, and then of course you have your kitchen drawers and additional storage as well. There's also storage above the kitchen area, which is pretty deep also. Just next to the kitchen is a very large pantry cabinet with adjustable shelves. Okay, so just past the kitchen area is a very, very comfy couch, which will jackknife out. One or two people could sleep on this couch as well, and it also serves as the area for the dinette and there's a separate table for that that you can fold up and put away just above the couch there's also additional storage and i do want to point out that the pantry closet and the couch area are all part of a slide out so it gives you a little more room inside the camper all right just across from the slide out where the couch is is the bathroom it's sort of in the center of this camper i'm standing in the shower right now i'm 5'11 i've got about four or five inches over my head decent sized shower it's got a shower curtain it slides in a track which we like it keeps the curtain from blowing in on you then you have a medicine cabinet with a little storage below good sized vanity with countertop area and storage below that as well Okay, so here we are at the front of this travel trailer, and there's a very nice size queen size bed up here. There's also a wardrobe closet on each side, a little nightstand with a receptacle and a USB port as well. And then of course there's a TV mounted on the wall, and this can actually swing out so that you can see it from the couch area opposite the bedroom. This travel trailer is the Winnebago Micro Mini. It is model number 2106 FBS, and it weighs in at 3,840 pounds, and it's 21 feet, 11 inches long. So it's a smaller size camper that would be very, very easy for you to tow. We really like the setup in here. We think it's fantastic. You, you walk in the door, and on your right-hand side, you have a nice big queen-size bed. Uh, on the one side, you have some drawer space, nightstand, receptacle, USB port, storage over top and then on the left side you have a another storage area and uh, sort of a wardrobe closet and nice little feature here under the bed plenty of storage as well so for a small trailer this has a fantastic kitchen setup we think it's got an inline kitchen setup as you can see, it's got a decent sized kitchen sink. If you need a little extra counter space because it's kind of short, it does have this countertop extension here. Uh, it's got a three burner stove and an oven down below, which is really kind of cool. And then you have storage under the sink and then drawers as well. Up above, you have even more storage plus a microwave oven. And then back here, this is a really nice size fridge for a smaller travel trailer. It's got a separate freezer and a good size refrigerator as well. As we wrap on around, you can see we have the entertainment area here. So you can mount your TV, you have a radio, some additional storage above, and then some storage down below for all your movies, DVDs, all that kind of stuff. Now, this model uh, has a little bump out right here with the sofa in it. So instead of having a dinette, they actually have a sofa bed. So this can pull out and two more people can sleep here. So it can sleep four people, but it also has this separate dinette table. So you can sit here, eat your meals, watch TV, whatever you'd like to do. And then it's got a little bit of storage up above the sofa as well. So this travel trailer has a decent sized bathroom in the back. And uh, here I am in the shower now. 
I'm 5'11", and I'm kind of hitting my head right on the ceiling if I stand straight up. You really have to stay within the skylight if you're taller than 5'11". And if you're more than 6'2", I think you'd have to crouch a bit. But, hey, for a small camper, this is a really roomy shower. And one of the reasons for that is it has this sliding shower curtain, which actually bows out, so it keeps the curtain off of you. And we really like these curtains on a track. It's got a track above and below, so it holds the, cap the curtain out of your way. Uh, on the other side of the bathroom, there's a really big linen closet with storage above and below, all the way down to the floor. And then the vanity itself has storage below it. Nice size sink with a little bit of countertop space and then a medicine cabinet above. Let us know which one of these awesome travel trailers was your favorite by leaving us a comment down below. We hope you enjoyed checking out all these travel trailers today. And by the way, speaking of check it out, if you'd like to check out some of our other videos, just click one of these boxes down below. And remember to subscribe to the RV Blogger channel when you do and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. So for Mike and Susan, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.